Hi all, welcome again. Today we will see SAP best practices. So we will cover what is SAP best practices, what all component we can use for SAP best practices, how to access SAP best practices. So we will cover that, but first we will start what is exactly SAP best practices. So SAP best practices have evolved and improved for many years and uh, finally there are solutions for almost 40 plus industries SAP provides. So it contained that SAP best practices contain baseline configuration standard business processes as per particular industries and library of detailed documentation of that processes on SAP best practices. Simply it is tried and tested standards of SAP or business processes or certain practices. So basically it is always about the best way to implement business processes. So the methodology of implementing SAP best practices nowadays come with S4 HANA and it is also come with SAP Activate as well. So it's a methodology and processes that we can use with new approach using SAP best practices. So SAP best practices are based on the experience and knowledge gained from the large number of customer projects. So actually what happened depending on different industries and customer projects, what processes they follow. So SAP is now we know it's almost 50 year old company and they are come regularly improving their processes. Recently they came up with HANA, Fiori, Ariba and many things. But what they are doing, they are improving their business processing and adopting or introducing business processes as per industry or company needs. And then they convert that in processes if they find that this particular business process is useful for any particular industry sector, maybe chemical, automobile or whatever industry sector. So SAP is supporting around 40 plus industry sectors. So they will introduce that as a best practice. So any company that decide to purchase SAP system therefore does not just acquire the pure software, it also benefit from the experience gained by the other customers or other company in particular industry or sector, which is incorporated as known as into the development of SAP software. And in particular, we know that as a SAP best practices. Then we will see next for which processes SAP best practices available. So these are the processes where we can use SAP best practices. So first one is business processes. So for wide range of requirement and industry. So it is defined like processes. Let's say I am focusing on MM. So from MM I can consider let's say one particular process. Let's say subcontracting. So it's completely defined how it is the best way using performing that business process like subcontracting or consignment then analysis so SAP gives like some ready report for analysis then for user experience so we know recently SAP come with the Fiori overview pages and Fiori that user experience then also now SAP support for migration as well so we can use best practices for migration from SAP to the higher version of SAP itself or for non SAP to SAP migration. Also, we can use these best practices for integrations as well. Let's say you, you wanted to integrate SAP with SAP Ariba or let's say new product SAP C4 HANA or S4 HANA. Also, it is helpful for transformation of businesses and recently it is very useful for configuration and installation of S4 HANA. So all for this, all this we can use best practices, but it is very wider topic. So I will focus on business processes, how 
consultant or any user or whomsoever wanted to learn or focus on best practices or want to explore like which is the appropriate way to doing this particular process how we can do so that we can see or if it is the only process or there are different processes so let's say if we consider uh, scheduling agreement for example from mm so we know we create scheduling agreement and we create scheduling lines from S sm38 and then goods receipt and all these but this is the only standard way no in scheduling agreement we can use different another way using mrp as well so that all everything you will get in sap best practices if you just check for scheduling agreement so they will give you like whatever all possible ways are there in that best practices so that we can explore so how to use sap best practices so i want to make it clear that sap best practices are available for anyone who know how to use internet or who have internet there is no requirement you should have any yes or p sap id or so so anyone can explore sap best practices so how that i will show you so sap best practices are available for free of charge and can be seen or downloaded at sap best practices explorer using this link so if you open this link you can access sap best practices so now we will see in real how to access sap best practices so i will go into my browser okay and then you have to put here just you can directly search sap best practices so google will give you all this or you can directly run this link and uh, this page will appear sap best practices page yeah so see now i don't have any yes or p user id but still i can see this it's asking me for login but no need of login you just close this and you can use this sap best sap best practices so then again how to use so here you can explore that how to use sap best practices so if you click on this it will open another window and then you can explore these all videos like how to getting started with sap best practices all these small video you can explore that i never use this but you can explore if you want because i know how to use or at least i know how for my purpose how i am using so i will show you how to use so first you have to decide for which area you wanted to use so if you go in complete portfolio so you will get like if you are using this sap best practices for any s4 hana or any technology or for cloud or anything like that so you have to decide that let's say i want to explore now i will show from mm perspective let's say i want to explore s4 hana so i will go into s4 hana then again you have options so if you want to explore s4 hana on premises on cloud particular industry automation relevant to automation or particular industries and so on uh, let's say i want to explore on on premise version so i will go into that then once you go into that then again you have to decide like what is your area where you wanted to explore so in my case let's say i want to explore SAP best practices for S4 HANA on premise. So once you go inside, then you will have details. So you can check all these like solution scope. So overview here you can see what is solution information. You can read all these. Then so software requirement, whatever then yeah so on top you have important thing for which country you wanted to explore that best practice and for which version so now it's set for let's say usa sap s for hana 2021 but let's say i want to check for 1901 india so see here india sap s for hana 1909 so i can select that and it will show me best practices for that then i have here your modules or you can say areas 
for which you wanted to explore SAP best practices. So in my case, I want to explore, let's say sourcing and procurement. In sourcing and procurement, I want to check, let's say for sourcing contract management. Then in contract management, let's say I want to explore purchase contract. Again, it will ask whenever it asks for login, just close it. It doesn't matter still, it allow you to access this. Then once you go in SAP best practices, you can read all these detail, what is their overview, then key benefit, what benefits you are getting from, key business process flow, so what are all processes involved in this particular process. So I have selected purchase contract. So it's short, uh, it's I didn't name is, uh, if you see business blueprints or any migration or implementation project design document, then you will see like purchase contract and what best practices they are followed, they will show it in bracket. So from this place only, who whomsoever designing this uh, implementation document or migration document or rollout document or whatever. So they will select these best practices from this and they will give name in front of this process. So it's purchase contract and this is the best practice taken from SAP best practices and this is its name that is BMD. It's just an example in your case different SAP best practices you can see it's not necessary it will be this only. Then what will be the process flow? So this is the process flow that is SAP suggest is a best practice. So create purchase contract, if any changes then do approve contract, monitor, blah, 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 all this. Then for which country now I am using and what all countries this is best practice available, you can see there. But now I, I am exploring for India, 1909 version of SAP. And if you want to share this link, you can share or you can put in your design document as well directly for reference if you want or you can share directly copy and paste. Then important thing here is this process flow. So it gives you all detail what exactly happening in which area like you purchase, purchasing manager, goods movement or invoicing area in which area it is happening it will give you very good details so let's say i will click on process flow it will open another window and it will give you this diagram so we see these diagrams in mostly design documents or business blueprint so see now here it's giving very clear so it is designed for saps for hana bmd and this is the process then these are the area purchaser purchasing manager warehouse or account or payable means invoicing and all that so we will see like how exactly it goes so it start here then create purchase requisition standard or create purchase requisition with outline agreement then it will go to the next then we will have another three options so you can create purchasing contract again optional you can create purchasing contract with reference to purchase requisition or you can create purchase reference purchase contract again optional so whatever option suits you you can take then changes to the contract that might be the mass changes or normal change with me 32 k or l whatever you are using so that is optional if you are using then monitor again it's optional if you are monitoring those contract as per sap process then print contract so we print that contract then manage source so it's again optional if you probe manage source again in different way or you put that sources or vendors in first step so it's again optional then process that requisition that we converted from contracts and create purchase order so pr to po then purchase document by requirement tracking number if required then if this contract sorry this purchase order has approval if no straight if approval then it will go in manager section for approval then again monitor once this purchase order get confirmed from vendor and he delivered then you will do in goods receipt again this will be the warehouse area or store area then if anything wrong then reversal or partial reversal or whatever action we take 
then if everything is okay then we will send it to invoice that will be in account payable this is one way so then let's say you want to explore another process so you can see all details so it's very similar everywhere and here you will get like uh, used packages let's say i will show you now another different process uh, for that there might be more than one process and how sap shows all those processes and one another way to use sap best practices instead of going inside inside so let's say you are on home page so i will go to home page So let's say you are on home page and uh, you don't want to go all inside. You directly wanted to search your process. So this will help you just click on this and let's say I want to search for scheduling agreement. Scheduling agreement or scheduling agreement just search and this will give you entire list whenever scheduling agreement is associated with. So just waiting for to load it. It will search for all records relevant to the scheduling agreement. And I'm showing now the process which might has more than one processes and more ways than one. So it SAP covers all that as well. So now see here we can see almost 34 scoped item from different areas but uh, I am interested for scheduling agreement relevant to purchasing or procurement only so you can see various scheduling agreement processes but I am interested for procurement that is BMR process so here it is yeah so again just click on this and it will again open the same page what I shown last time but I wanted to show SAP covers different ways as well if it has more than one way so again all rest of details will be the same you can select your product and version from this anyway I'm not going in that because for most of countries it will be the same but if any specific uh, country has different process that will also be here so I will directly go in process flow to check what other options or different options it has so see see here scheduling agreement procurement and processes BMR so this is the one way scheduling agreement with release document for standard procurement so again I will not explain all this but I will show you different process so all this so exactly it is happening with release document then it has again different process as well so scheduling agreement with release document for standard procurement so again this it has no release or mini documents then again scheduling agreement with edi integration so again you can see this and this integration points as well so this is how sap covering all these processes and these are the best practices so this is the important as a consultant you must know how to use this or how useful is this so you can use this directly in your design or business blueprints and it's pretty easy and anyone can access it there is no restriction like you should have yes or psap ids or so because you see i don't have login still i'm using all these processes okay so that's it from sap best practices you can explore more like how to use how to use that i have shown but more part like what all things are in sap best practices how it come how initially it came from rds and all that so you can explore that all things it is readily available but it's best way to use directly go in web and search what processes you are looking for and you can develop various processes in detail what all possibilities are so that's it for this video thank you for watching see you in the next video bye